uh, especially by one uh, presidential candidate by the name of Donald Trump. <laughs> and you know, he's been talking a lot about immigrants. So, oh boy. Thank God I'm a citizen now. <laughs> I wouldn't have to <laughs> I wouldn't have to climb over the wall that he's planning to, to build, you know, if he was becoming president. So thank God I'm a president. But you know, most people don't know the life of an immigrant when they first come into this country. I want to tell you a quick story. This is a true story, my, my friends. When I first landed in John F. Kennedy Airport, you know, I had to adjust my time because the time is different from Nigeria and America. So I asked somebody at the JFK, please, you know what time it is? The guy said, I said, oh, thank you so much. Let me adjust my time to one time. <laughs> because I thought it was to one o'clock. So I adjusted my time, and then a few minutes later, somebody asked me, he said, what time is it? I said, like this. <laughs> I said, I beg your pardon? I said, why are you begging for a party? I just told you it's one o'clock. You didn't do nothing wrong. It's one o'clock. He said, that does not mean not uh, one o'clock. That means I couldn't see the rest of it. But anyway, life of an immigrant. You know, uh, as a roommate in West Virginia, when I was in West Virginia, I was trying to look for you know, a football game. My roommate said, you know, by the way, there's a football game coming on tonight. I said, really? I said, yeah. I said, okay. So we're waiting I'm in the pool, trying to watch uh, TV. And then I see people coming out. They have helmets on. You know, they have uh, you know pads. They have shoulder shoulder pads. I'm like, wait a minute. What are these people going to do? Are they getting ready to fight? <laughs> this is not football because in Nigeria we call it soccer. You see, but over here they call it football. I'm like, wait a minute. This is not football. What is this? They must be getting ready to fight. That's why they have concussions. You know. <laughs> of course, I happen to be right about that. They're having concussions later. <laughs> anyway. So I decided to go to town one evening while I was in school to go to the bar just like this. And I'm in the bar, I'm waiting to be served. I sit and I sit and I sit and I wait and I wait and I didn't get served. And then I said to the gentleman, I said, please, I've been sitting here for a long time. How come I'm not getting served? He said, well, you're gonna be waiting for a very, very long time. <laughs> I could not understand it. So when I went back to the dorm, I asked my roommate, I said, what is this? He said, hey, you were in the country of the rednecks. I said, I beg your pardon? I said, you were in the country of the rednecks. I said, well, their necks were not red. They were white like yours. He said, oh, you have a lot of red. So anyway, then he said, let's go and get some uh, KFC. I said, KFC, what is that? He said, 